What's up, guys? Thanks for showing up to today's episode of In the Zone with Victor Bell. Today's a real estate day where I go over real estate investing live, and I want to do it with you. So the bigger thing today is how do you get 15% return on your money? Somebody asked me that. We were talking about 15%. That's a target for us. And I was like, dude, like that's a that that's I've done better, but this is what we target in our fund. And he was like, 15%. How do you get 15%? I can get this maybe for stocks. And I was telling him, I was like, this isn't get rich quick. This is get wealthy for sure. Now, in, let's say 20, 30, 50 years ago or something like that, you dump 10, 15 grand into like Amazon or maybe uh, Facebook. But the chances are, are, are less of you hitting it big because you ain't going to start Amazon. You aren't going to start Facebook. You aren't going to start Tesla. None of that stuff. But you, what you can do is you can take your money, you can invest it in real estate, and you can double down or, or from that perspective. So I wanted to share that with you guys because I shared it with him. So big question. How do you get 15%? Now, when I say 15%, we're talking about a 15% internal rate of return. Boom. 15%. That's what we, that's what we target up for our fund. We actually, you know, I target more than that, but let's just say 15% for this purposes. And you can go to bell-capital.com and you can take a look at how we target, what it, what the returns are, things like that. So, but when I was telling him, I was like, dude, like 15% internal rate of return, like that's not, that's not hard to hit. So I'll share with you guys how to get 15% return on your money. All right. So now we're talking about multifamily real estate investing. And Ian, like I said, this isn't get rich quick. This is get rich, get wealthy for sure, which means you're going to be illiquid. And you're going to be long term in a deal. So let's say we've got a deal for five million dollars. Boom. Five million dollar deal. And we know we're going to put down one point five million. Right. We're going to put down that amount. That's 30 percent. So we already know I'm already got, I already have my marching orders for something like that. But on our money, what we're looking at is to make about 5% on our money a year, 5%. That's a reasonable thing to do, especially in a multifamily deal where you're talking about uh, location is sick, great asset, already cash flowing. Like that's not impossible. As a matter of fact, that's expected. So if we were to do that over a 10-year period, you're getting 5%. So there's your 5% over 10 years. Now, when we sell this deal, because this is the other piece, right? I talk about you have to learn know how to exit a deal, Right. Um, as you're exiting your deal, how much do you guys think we have to exit our deal to make our $1.5 million back, right? Like, like there's a valuation here, but when you exit the deal, we only have to sell the deal. The value of the deal over 10 years, a $5 million deal, we're using this, it could be 50 million, 500 million, whatever. The value of the deal only has to go up by 30%, right? That, that's pretty much reasonable over a 10 year period if you're in a great location and a great asset and the rents are continuing to go up in that market right so that's another uh, 1.5 million so now we're at 100 percent of our money right and we said that that's a 10 years over 10 years so that's 15 percent right there because we have the our 10 10 per year 10 percent per year that's 15 percent on our money and all we have to do is sit and wait for this to happen that's, this is how this happens, guys. It's not, this is how pension funds and endowments, endowment funds and life insurance companies, this is how they all look at their stuff. Hey, what can we do in 10 years? We put on, or they, they're they looking at five years because they need to churn money constantly. But when you're you're an investor and going into a liquid, a liquid, illiquid asset, uh, like multifamily real estate, because it's an, it's an illiquid investment, not liquid like stocks. This is, this right here is a target. This is how you get a 15% internal rate of return. And oh, I left this part out. So here's the other piece on that. So over 10, oh, let's say over 10 years, up, up to the exit, we're doing, it's called, uh, it's called a debt buy-down. Debt buy-down. We're buying down our debt every year, boom, at 1.5. So that's another 15% that goes back to my investors. So we got 15% internal rate of return. Not including this. I left that out. So that's really 30%. Going back to my investors. That's a return. <laughs> that's 30% going back to my investors. So some of you people, that that's boring. They'd be like, oh yeah, 15% return on your money. That's right. I mean, we would have already gotten our money back. 
right? At least 50% of it had we been in for 10 years. So we did 5% per year. Then when we sold 30% higher, because we don't have to sell, we don't have to double. We don't have to sell for 10 million. We just need to sell for 6.5 million to get 100% return over and above what we had in it because we got our 1.5 back plus another 1.5 and got paid 5% while we waited. So that's how we come up with the 15%. So when I was explaining that to the guy, he was like, well, yeah, I get it now. But this is really how you get 15% return on your money. Really, like I said, not including the debt buy down. Because once we're, we're paying down our debt every year, right? Because whether it, if it's interest only, then it's interest only, right? So we're going to put more money down. But if we're doing principal and interest, the way most of like the way a lot of these big deals work, then you're, you know, a week, when you do your, um, it, it's kind of like financial financial magic, but typically you're going to pay down 1.5% of the debt per year. So this goes back to the investors. Again, when we sell, we're selling for a lot less because we've already paid down the debt. So that's another 1.5 million in a calculation that I didn't calculate with 15%. But this right here is what we get back as investors. This is really the game, man. It really is. And again, this is why this stuff is so exciting for me because like I said, odds are, who knows, man, the chances are so much higher in doing, I can always buy a real estate deal. You can always buy a deal. You can, I mean, this is what we offer for our investors. Hey, take your earned income and dump it in a deal with us. We manage, find the deal, fund the deal, manage the deal. And then later we, we get paid to wait and then later we get our money back. I mean, I love showing people how to double and triple money, like I said, but this is typically how it works. So for you guys wondering, how do you get 15% on your money? This is how, right? And naturally, if, you, if we do it in a shorter time, then that 15% actually goes up because this is a time thing. It doesn't come down, right? So the, the less time, the higher your returns are. So this is how we do this, guys. And I wanted to share this with you really fast on, a, on today's training. Because if you are thinking that you're going to go and get rich quick in multifamily, this isn't this. This Investing in multifamily is like investing in the business. It has its own finances. It has its own tax returns. It has its own uh, employees. Um, the residents and the tenants, they are the customers. You don't have the ups and downs of the stock market like you see, like, we was watching CNBC today and it was like the market's up because the Fed's raised. This part's up. Yesterday it was down. They're, this is recovering. A lot of analysts and economists and stuff and, and people that, uh, you know, professors at Harvard arguing about something. None of them have any skin in the game. <laughs> None of them. Everyone's just talking. Your real estate does not do that. Long, your rents are going to continue to climb just because the market went down, even if values went down, if you're not selling, your revenue and your income in that building didn't go down. That's why I said, this isn't get rich quick. This is get wealthy for sure. This is a long-term play. 15% 15 in turn, 15 internal rate of return. This is how banks, if you want to be an investor, you want to think like an institution. So you want to think like a life insurance company. You want to think like a pension fund or, uh, or you want to think like uh, an endowment fund, like Harvard Endowment Fund. This is how they think. Long term, just uh, great return without all the risk and the ups and downs because they know they want their principal balance back and they want a good return on that. So this is how we do it. But if you have questions, go to bell-capital.com. You can either one, get started, or you can schedule a call with us. We're here for you. Um, or leave me a comment. Subscribe to this, like this video, share this video, um, and leave a comment. I would love to hear your comments. And if I can, if I can further explain something, put it in the comments and I will make a video or a training about it. And I will have it here for you guys. So, um, looking forward to having you guys looking forward to seeing you guys. I love doing videos. I love training on this because this is what I wanted. Had somebody taught me this earlier, I would have been a lot further along in my real estate investment game, but that's why I started Bell Capital. So I can help get more investors involved in investing in multifamily because I believe it is the number one best asset to put your money in to create wealth for you and your family forever. All right. So you guys have a great day today. I will uh, connect with you guys soon. Let's go.